money. 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 Woo, I feel good about this video. He don't fuck a whole lot of bitches, but it was the me for him. What's going on YouTube? So today I'm back with another video. Um, I just want to say my vibrations is high. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. My outfit look good. I'm happy. My man is taking a little too long to reply. But it's okay. Other than that, I'm happy, bitch. I'm I'm so I feel so good and I feel real positive. Um, I'm sorry if I scare you. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Erica Maxwell, and today I'm gonna be doing a updated QA, spicy QA, and also just to catch you up on my life. Um Y'all yeah, know I hate the long intros, so I'm going to just keep it short and sweet, and let's get on to the video. Alright, so before we start this video, I just want to say, y'all, yeah. okay, I haven't actually recorded anything since, a, like, a little bit after Christmas, and it's already um, January 17th, and I was just, oh, I'm saving for the end, but girl, I was going through it 2020, and then I have seasonal depression, so even a little bit of, like, the beginning of January, I was like, eh. I didn't want to do shit um and i think i did upload like two videos in the first week of january but i'm not gonna lie they're more of like i don't like to call bullshit but like bullshit videos if you know you know if you're a youtuber um but that's gonna change because this 2021 i'm with a whole different vibe a whole different grind and a whole different type of dedication but i don't want to keep rambling let's go on to the first question all right, so we're going to start off small. Y'all already know how to do it. Then we go on with the big questions, whatever, whatever. So the first question is, what sign do you like slash dislike the most? Um. Okay, so, like, if y'all don't know, I just started getting into, like, a little bit of, like, spiritual and just also, like, more about, like, signs and stuff like that. I'm not really big on it, but, you know, I know the signs or whatever. So I would say my most likes, I don't know. I don't like people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, hold on. <laughs> My most liked sign, I would have to say Scorpio just because my boyfriend is a Scorpio. Um, I like Leos. I'm not even going to lie. I really only like Kiara. Like, as a Leo, I don't feel like I would click with Leos, like, if it wasn't Kiara. Um, and, yeah, I don't really pay attention to stuff like that, so I don't really know. Like, I pay attention when it comes to my sign, and that's basically it. Like, I think I would like my sign. Honestly, I think I'm the best sign dislike i definitely dislike aquarius i dislike um sagittarius and i dislike that's like the main two for now all right so the next question is we still keeping it like dream tattoo and location okay this was a good question because i've actually been talking to my boyfriend a lot about getting a tattoo and my friends so for sure probably i always wanted this like right here um, I probably will get it right before I get married because I do want the little symbols that say God is higher than the the lows and, and greats, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody has that somewhere in their body, respectfully. So I might do that before I get um, married because I do want it on my ring finger. But I also heard that's like the, like the most pain you're going to get, like if you tattoo on your finger because there's less meat. But for sure, for sure, probably my first tattoo is going to be on my thigh going into my butt area. I find it so sexy. Um... I find it so sexy on Cardi B and just on all these people. It just looks so fire. And I feel like I'm just nervous because it's going to be a bigger tattoo. And that's going to be my first tattoo. I'm really scared. Please send me suggestions. I want it to be very creative but meaningful and stuff like that. I'm still looking. But yeah, definitely on my thigh and on this ass. So, Alright, so the next question is craziest place you ever had sex. Um... I've answered this before and I don't know about craziest the weirdest place was like a wine cellar <laughs> That's the weirdest place. I don't know what I should be saying <laughs> But Yeah craziest. I don't I don't think I've done that yet I do want to do the beach and then just somewhere like just crazy. I don't know I but that's the weirdest slash craziest place I've ever had sex. Would you suck your man's toes? Um <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh my god, these questions have me fucked up. <coughs> what I saw my man told, I'm not gonna lie, like, I would probably do anything for my nigga. <laughs> oh. Oh, he needs some milk. <laughs> like, sexually, like, 
I just I'm, I'm I just like to please you know what I mean like I don't really care and I'm not someone that I really don't get grossed out about a lot of shit these other questions you'll see like I do not get grossed out about a lot of shit by the way oh my god I forgot to say if any of my family relatives my my family in law if you watching this please click the fuck out of this video um but yeah um there's not much I wouldn't do obviously I have like my limits because there's there's crazy I've seen some crazy shit. Obviously, if it's gonna harm me, no. But, yeah, I would suck it. I know he wouldn't want me to. And, like, it's not something that I would prefer to do. But if it's asked of me, then probably. Would you lick the goosh? <laughs> and if y'all didn't know, that's, like, like, the inner between the butthole and... So, yeah, I'm probably gonna get demonetized for this video, respectfully, but it's whatever. We coming in with good vibrations 2020. Um, would I like the goosh? Fuck, yeah, the fuck? The goosh is my bitch. Let me stop. <laughs> nah, let me stop, because my man would definitely kick me to the moon and back. But yeah, I would like the goosh. Like, I don't, I don't care about shit like that. Um, what's my favorite position? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite position. I really like everything. Um, I like missionary as a start off. I think that's just always the best. I think it's romantic. I think it's passionate and Yeah, that's probably my that's probably my mm, I would have to go with like either missionary or When you're laying down, it's like doggy style, but you're not in an arch You're just like literally flat on the back. So yeah, I'm not trying to get do too detailed because I want YouTube to take down this video But yeah Give us a small update. Where have you been? So, I definitely was dealing with depression since starting, like, probably the beginning of December. Um, it always happens. This is, like, the third, or, the second or third time it already happened, like, second or third year. Um, it's very hard because a lot of people do not understand. Uh, people do not understand that it's not literally, like, you just want to be lazy. It's dead ass like, it's physically hard to get out of bed. Um, it is mentally draining to do things, as in just literally clean, wash your ass. I was washing my ass, that's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah. But it was really hard, so um, I definitely took a break or like I was just slacking. I try to push through this vlog as much as I can and I'm so proud of myself because I really did. I did not finish, but I stopped around like almost day 20, day 19 around there, correct me if I'm wrong. So I am so proud of myself because I really... Uh, like that was my first time doing vlogmas and I was doing real vlogmas as in like start December 1st and I Record edit and upload the same day. So I was very proud of myself and I'm not gonna lie The money was good when I did vlogmas. So I'm definitely know that consistency is the way I tell everybody when y'all ask me Oh, how do I start a channel? How do I do this? Consistency is the way you have to be consistent whatever you do When will you start doing pranks with your significant other? Um so I was gonna do uh, y'all yeah, know the the face reveal and like a boyfriend Q and A has to be first. Um, when I went to Cebu for a long time, actually, I didn't bring my ring light and there's not much lighting in my boyfriend's house. So and he got a haircut and all that. So that was my that was my fault. So hopefully when I go next time, I'm gonna definitely remember to bring my ring light and hopefully he is able to be on camera and stuff. So that's that pranks. I'm um, just letting y'all know right now, this is not a couple's channel. I'm Erica Maxwell. Erica Maxwell the brand, period. Um, will I do some pranks? Probably. But majority of the pranks will be if we will start a couple's channel. So just letting you know that. Like, don't expect a whole bunch. Like, once the boyfriend tag video comes, like, do not expect, like, a whole couple's channel. Because that is not what I'm doing, okay? But... I already have a few pranks, like, and he's so not, I be, you know what's crazy, I be showing him these pranks, but I need to chill, I need to chill, because I'm showing him, like, the recent ones, and I had so many pranks that I know he don't know about up my sleeve, because he does not watch YouTube, like, he's not a YouTube nigga, he does not watch YouTube, unless it's about watching, like, games or something, so, when that day comes, I'm gonna be on, like, it's gonna be good, just make sure y'all subscribe when I, when it happens, when do you plan on moving out? All right, so that's a great question. So I'm currently going to start the process of saving up with my boyfriend to move out to an apartment. So it's really exciting. Um, I'm literally just about to start. Like, my next track, I'm about to start saving um, big chunks. So hopefully it's just the process is quick. Bleh. The process is quicker. I Our goal is to move out by next year, as in 2022. So that's really the goal, and that's what I'm going to push for because I really just... I'm manifesting a lot, and I'm just doing a lot to get what I deserve and what I want. So, yeah, that's kind of how it's looking like. What age do you want to get married and have kids? 
Um, I don't want to put a time limit on anything, but when I think about it, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I would like to get married around like 25, around there. I feel like I'm dead ass about to be 20. Time is going real fast. So, and I just have not done, not even close to what I want to accomplish. So definitely, you know, that's in like what? Almost six years from now, I think that's perfect. Um, yeah, I just want to, uh, around 25. Kids, I would say like 26, 27 because, you know, like I'm just... I want to get it over with honestly like i i want to be on my last kid or my second kid by like 30 and that's it probably get a mommy makeover do my body or whatever look cute for the gram or whatever and just be a mom you know what i mean so a young mom well not that young but like a young mom you know what i mean because 30 is still young so that's probably around the age limit i don't really put it um like to get age limit i don't really put time yo i don't know why i'm getting like nervous talking about this i don't really put time limits um Unless it's going a little too slow, okay? Because then, then a bitch is out. But yeah, around that time, I think is a perfect time to start settling down and stuff like that. The next question is, would you have a threesome? So, um... <laughs> uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes, because I would probably have to be on some, like, married for, like, 10 years type shit. Like, I'm talking about married for 10 years. And I wouldn't have a threesome as in, like like my man inserting in another woman because i i'm a cancer bitch i'm a cancer i'm a cancer i'm a cancer i'm too jealous for that but you can go die in hell if you think that's gonna happen um so yeah and that so it's really a no but i know i'm also someone that i love to spice shit up but definitely not now like i'm saying i would def it'll definitely be more for like amusement maybe you know like he could watch his do our thing or whatever like sun light sun light but like actual sex no i'm not down for that never have been never will respectfully um and yeah so it's like a yes or no where i have a threesome like under my rules yes later on in the future um but definitely not anytime soon and definitely not like actual sex with my man because mm, respectfully like she's probably gonna die right after so the next question is three things that you are not tolerating this year and baby i got a fucking list okay i got a motherfucking list of the shit i'm not tolerating this year the first one is i'm not tolerating any disrespect if you're disrespectful to me i'm either gonna give it right back to you or i'm gonna cut you off because i don't have space for that for real i feel like no nah, i'm gonna save that for the second one the second one is i'm not tolerating anybody walking all over me now it's very hard to admit that, but y'all know I don't really give a fuck a mini shot on camera. But I really do let people walk over me. A lot of people have this persona that I'm very like, err. But y'all, bitch, y'all know I'm a cancer. Like, come on, I'm not, I'm err, but with a little bit of, uh, you know what I mean? A little bit of, uh, a little cry, you know what I mean? I'm an emotional, like Cardi B said, I'm an emotional gangster, you know what I'm trying to say? So that's really how it is. Um, and I do, and unfortunately, I have let a lot of people in my past walk all over me. That is something I am not tolerating. If you are not benefiting me, I'm removing myself from that situation immediately 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 if you are taking advantage of me i am i am removing you or distancing myself because i'm not gonna lie it's very hard for me to cut people off but i'm definitely gonna distance myself until you get your shit together period and the third thing i'm not tolerating is i don't even know what's the third thing i'm not tolerating i'm not tolerating no negative thoughts this is way more for me to challenge myself i'm not I'm not tolerating no negativity. If it's negativity towards me, I'm not entertaining. You feel me? Thank God I have not been in no YouTube drama, no shit like that. But I, that that's just not gonna happen. I would never. I'm not even gonna put myself in that shit. Um, <coughs> but I'm just not like tolerating my mind having a negative mindset or just thinking about the wrong shit. Cause I'm really so head focused right now. Like the momentum I have right now is crazy. So I'm gonna really just try to work with it. But yeah, that's basically the three things I'm not gonna be tolerating this year. All right, so the last question we'll be answering is what are some of my new year resolutions? Which I love this question because I obviously have said a lot, but I'm really big into just protecting my energy, protecting my space and all that. So I will not be sharing exactly um my camera might die so i'm gonna just stop this in like a minute but i'm gonna just try to talk it out um i have a lot i want to be way more consistent on youtube i want to update my editing so bad i'm about to down i'm about to buy final cut pro which is like 300 dollars. so i'm about to get that i really want to be more serious on my social media i'm still like in a i don't really know what content i really want to put on instagram specifically instagram me and instagram have a love-hate relationship they be taking away my my 10k 
every other day. I have it, then I don't. I don't know if it's up there, some shit. It gets me tight. Um, I definitely want to be... I want to eat healthier. I want to work out. I want to work on trusting. I want to work on my relationship. That's for me and my partner to discuss, but I just want to be more of a trusting person and i want to be more positive i want to manifest more i have been i've been sticking to a certain routine this past week and i am in love so yeah that's kind of like the gist of like my resolutions i also want to do good in college um this semester or the rest of my semesters but you know what i mean especially for this year and that's that's all i could really think of but yeah sorry i'm on camera dive the placement looks a little weird but that is all for this video i just want to say that i'm really trying to come into this year with a whole different mindset a whole different ball game i have projects i want to release i have youtube that i really really want to grow on and my social platform all around and i just have so much i don't even i just really want to do what i actually say you know what i mean so i'm super excited i want to say to opening this new year i'm so grateful for anybody who has supported me is still supporting me all that stuff because i really it really motivates me whether it's a dm whether it's a comment on a video whether it's a like a repost on my instagram it really means the world to me because i really do want to do this as a passion you know i really want to be someone that is just a voice for a certain type of community you know what i mean and i cannot wait for you guys to see the type of content i'm going to create because i want to do so much um for boys girls funny beauty a whole bunch of different content i'm excited i'm about to do interviews i'm about to do collabs i'm about to do all this stuff and i'm so excited because the fuck i'm about to be 20 years old i forgot to say that too but i'm about to be 20 the price just went up baby the price really went up and that's on period when i tell you this year the price really went up i really truly mean that because the way i'm gonna have my self-love my confidence and my worth i wish somebody would play with me okay i wish somebody would play with me this year because this year there's no playing around this year i'm not playing about myself no more like for real like i really had to reflect and be like nah i let this 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 slide it's none of that this year if you're not fucking with me if you're not fucking with my vibe bitch get the fuck out like for real like i'm not i'm not doing it this year i'm not doing it so yeah i don't got a little like crazy but y'all gonna see y'all gonna see this energy is about to go crazy i feel like 2020 i was very more vulnerable on youtube y'all saw heartbreaks y'all saw struggles y'all saw me crying y'all saw me ranting y'all saw me screaming about motherfucking taco bell the 2020 was crazy and i feel like it was crazy for everybody we had covid for goodness sake but this year i'm coming back and i'm taking back what's mine and it's the motherfucking crown bitch actually it never even came off it tilted and i'm pushing that shit back on period okay so that's basically it for this video and i'm mad hype i'm about to start editing and getting into this software so i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe share to your mother share to your grandmother all that shit i'll see you guys next time bye